So the market is clear as mud, literally, I'm joking, but we are going to talk about Polkadot today in terms of a technical analysis video, price targets, price predictions, whatever you want to call it. So if you like this stuff, let us know. If you want us to do one of your tokens, comment, please. It makes a big difference as well as liking the video. Now, Polkadot, volume, not bad considering a lot of people do throw mud at it, but I want to talk about Polkadot because a lot of people do ask about it in our Discord and it kind of makes more sense, right? So in terms of Discord for trading, if you want to know more about trading, if you want to copy some of the members' trades as well, the success part of it is just literally like green all the way through, even through the murky waters that we've had in the market, which is great to see. So if you want to know more, links are below. By the way, if you are a current subscriber, this website is getting changed, right? We're going to change it up a little bit. Something new coming very, very soon. Anyways, Polkadot. When you zoom out, it looks pretty terrible, right? But there's a lot of degrees, in my opinion, of genuine hope that the market is slowly, slowly starting to wake up a little bit. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because the S&P is going down, Gold is going down, but Bitcoin and some of the altcoins are actually remaining okay, even though some of the altcoins are getting a little bit smashed, a little bit on the slow term um, time frames, but nowhere near as bad as what people are making out. And I think a lot of people are overreacting. So if we look at the higher time frames on Polkadot in terms of the weekly, it looks like we are slowly, slowly getting to a point of like, where's the bottom, in my opinion. Three day time frame looks a little bit more obvious in terms of like we've been sat on this level of support for a while now and we're starting to trickle up in terms of the RSI. And there's potential areas here where we could be looking at potential divergences where it's going to look very, very interesting for a potential reversal sign. Now, when you combine this, right, when you combine this with like the total two and the total three, we're starting to show little signs of life where potentially old coins can go with it and people are starting to do better. Little image here, Bitcoin's return over October is often pretty good. So that is a good point. But the big problem that we do have with Polkadot here is a clear and obvious rejection. Now, 24th of October, as you may know, a lot of coins are getting put back into circulation, basically into the hands of the crowd loan, right? Does it mean it's going to dump? Probably not. I think it's something very, very similar to what happens with uh, Ethereum when the staking releases in terms of the withdrawals. Not a lot's going to probably happen there, right? Realistically, because people will be happy to hold and stake and probably actually go and reinvest in some more projects. Say, for example, with me, I went into Akala, I went into Moonbeam. I'm probably going to put them maybe all into Moonbeam, maybe into a couple of other parachains, maybe back into staking of DOT. So I'm not really that worried. But technical analysis, let's talk about this. This as it stands in terms of current live prices, is the potential bottom. Potential, right? But we could go lower here, right? If we're going to look at obvious impulses, this was a clear rejection into the floor. We've also went back into this region. Now, I'm very much dubious to the fact that we may well actually go lower than this due to any sort of uneasy headlines, FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried. The trial is happening currently, right? Now, when we look at the obvious facts here, there's a level here of interest around this point where we were launched, where we got an extension level. So don't rule out any lower levels. That doesn't mean just go hurtling into some lower levels and think, I'm just going to put my order down here because he might hit. Because mobs have said so. Be careful with that. Because there's going to be a point where we're going to bounce. Realistically, right? The market, in my opinion, is low, right? That's kind of obvious. A lot of things are very low. They have been basically battered. Now, if you're going to draw a massive area of interest around a certain place and you go on to zoom out, you know, this is kind of what it looks like on those lower time frames, right? Well, the higher time frames even. That is the area. It's not too bad if you're looking at a certain area and you think, you know what? It's not a bad place to start buying things, right? Around that point. Anything below $5 for me, Polkadot is an absolute steal if you're looking at the longer term picture. Now, if we're looking at this and looking at like potential bottoms and stuff like that, what about the potential reversal? Well, this is where it gets interesting too. Even though that is a honking candle, something has interesting, you know, a little bit of interest has happened here. If I remove that fib and we look at that level, we have had an impulse, we have pulled back and retested it. 
that is usually a pretty strong sign of a potential bottom as well. We've had a number of tests and we've held it. This is looking a bit stronger. Now, this is where it gets interesting. If we're going to go from the low to the high of this deviation, which was a clear and obvious rejection from these levels, we are currently, you know, yes, the body closure, 12 hours time, we're still afloat. Now, does this mean that we're going to continue going higher? Well, potentially there's a chance, chance. The reason being this is still open for debate and we could actually get above the moving averages and we could start to see some momentum. The momentum is only just below the 50% mark here in terms of the relative strength, but we did fly through it in terms of this hurtling kind of run. Just didn't continue. Momentum was rugged, basically, because Bitcoin did a bit of a droppy and so did everything else at the same time. So we may well look to see continuation going up towards these sort of levels, which is a strong level of resistance, right? So it's possible. If you've been riding the market in terms of like the trends, it's bearish. But there has been a little sign of a deviation where we tried to get through and we rejected at these levels. But that could pave the way for some more bullish momentum when it goes for a retest. It may well smash through some orders, a little bit of a short squeeze. It may well continue the path going higher. But this candle here, what we're looking at right now, is absolutely critical, crucial. Even though it's red, it has zipped back up. If this continues zipping up, it will start to go a different color and it will start looking more like a reversal signal. Other than that, there's not a lot to kind of hope on but we need to wait and see what happens here with BTC. Bitcoin is still holding this level pretty strongly. EMA 8 at the moment, EMA 21 below. It is holding a level. We broke above, we went and retested it, and we're each still holding. If that continues to go up, we may well see DOT in the USD pairs continue going higher. In terms of DOT in the BTC pairs, I'm sorry, it's going to look like a dog's dinner, and it does right? Because it's currently struggling to hold on to it. But there's a lot of news, as I said before, coming out regarding those crowd loans, regarding money getting put back into the circulating supply, which is released and liquid. Personally, and I've said this before numerous times, I do not believe that people will sell when they locked up at like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. I'm going to sell at these numbers. I think that's really stupid. Even though it's been out of their hands for two years, that's a bit daft, isn't it, as an investor? So expect something to happen with that dot. Maybe go into the power chains. Maybe just go into staking and make the network even more secure. There's quite a lot. I'm going to put my guesses on the latter, the more of the staking side of it, which will create a bit of a surge, in my opinion. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, please. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And most importantly, if you want us to cover some of your coins, with some basic technical analysis, let us know and we'll more than happily do it. If you want a longer term kind of bias as well, let us know and we can look at some bigger swings where we could potentially go up to. $8 level, in my opinion, is an absolute critical level for the future. If it breaks above that, it could get very, very interesting.